what we'll do in this step then is we will now uh, mirror the down pose that we've created in the last step onto the the opposite feet a little bit further on so you can see that we did our last down pose on frame four which to kind of work out that's three frames after our contact pose so the next time that we're three frames after a contact pose is at frame 16 so it's 16 where we'll put our next down pose so the first thing i want to do is just copy the information from one foot to the other uh, like we did with the previous steps so i'm going to start with yeah we'll go left foot first so i'm going to copy the values here and then i'm going to go to frame 16 select the right foot and I'm going to paste that on there and I'm just going to check to see if I like that um, that looks right I think when I drop the hips I think that's going to match up properly so what we're also going to do is with the right foot selected we're going to go to frame 4 now I'm going to copy that and then go to frame 16 again, change feet, and then I'm going to paste. Okay, and then I'm just going to flick between four and 16. And they're not exactly right. So what we're going to do is just mirror the the y value of the hips and hope that, that sorts it out so we'll go to frame four and we can see that's set to minus 0 0.185 so we'll go to 16 and change that to minus 0 0.185 that has definitely had an effect we'll see if it's the right effect nope that's definitely not what i wanted it to be so what we're going to do then is select both feet on frame four and we're going to key everything press s and now we're going to copy those values over again and it should work so we'll start again with the left foot so i'm going to copy that and then i'll switch to the right foot go to frame 16 and we'll paste that in that looks better i'm going to keep that foot selected go to frame four copy the values switch to the other foot back to 16 and then paste okay and that now looks a lot better so if i now flick between these two again they look identical but i've swapped the value onto different feet so that is now two down poses complete so let's play that and it's starting to come together you can see now that it's got a little bit of a uh, bit of swagger i think he's got swag um and a lot of the key poses are now working together. So now that our two down poses are complete, in the next step, we will create the first up pose. 